So it's week six of my transformation and I'm here again at CrossFit Evolving and today Pete is going to take me through an upper body mass workout. Everything's going super well. He's weighing in at 94 kilograms now. Hopefully by the end, he'll put on at least 10 kilos, which is a massive gain, obviously. We started out uh, with a little 30-30 push press hold uh, with the dumbbells just to warm up the shoulders. We use this drill a lot just to warm up the vulnerable shoulder area and prepare it for the work we're about to do. Then we went into our dip ladder. So we're just going to set the rings to about armpit height. And with the dip ladder, he's going to start at 10 reps, take a little pause, do nine reps, eight reps. So for a beginner, this might be an actual workout. For someone like Nick, who's got a big training history, we're using it as a warm up. It's going to prep them well for what we're going to do after. And the workout today, there's just a lot of pushing, a lot of pushing movements. to get that volume of pushing up, which basically will equal growth in the chest and growth in the shoulders. So Nick's main event today, ready for this Nick, is a 30 minute bench. So super simple, clock starts, 30 minutes. Gets to get out as many reps as you can in that time at 80 kilos. A little bit of strategy involved. Obviously you don't want to burn out too quick and exhaust yourself and then just end up doing a bunch of ones. But in the end, it ends up being a shitload of volume, which is what we're trying to do, and just, just a fun way to get a lot of volume done. So what we're going to do now is try and predict how many reps we think Nick is going to do. So Paul, our handsome cameraman, what do you reckon? 150. Nick? I'm going to go for 100. Aim low, and you'll never be disappointed. I'm going to go with 135. We'll see who wins. The reason we do workouts like this, um, like a 30 minute challenge, is just to add variation and change into the program. We're always looking to ways to present new things, new ideas, new challenges, new concepts, just to get him to the number. When it comes to hypertrophy and volume, how you get to the number doesn't matter so much as the number itself, because we're just looking to get a lot of reps out at a given percentage of his one rep max. Okay, so Nick's got 10 minutes to go uh, in our little bench press challenge. Uh, he's at 76 reps. Um, so hopefully he'll get a few more out before the end. He's doing okay, he started at fives and then dropped down to fours and then dropped down to threes, went back up to fours, back down to threes. Um, but he's still repping them out, so there's a few left in the cannon yet, so we'll see how far he gets. Two. Three, yes. So time's running out, 640 to go. We're trying to get to 100, he's at 83. It's gonna be tight. Come on. He's at 96 reps. We've got about a minute to go. We're closing down on 100. Let's hope he makes it. Five, four, three, two, up. At the end of the 30 minute bench press challenge at 80 kilograms, Nick managed to get 101, which is pretty close to his prediction, which was 100. Paul, I thought Nick was way more manly than he actually is. I thought he was considerably more manly than he actually is. Um, but Nick was actually pretty close to his own prediction, so he knows himself pretty well. Okay, so we've done a lot of pushing today already, so uh, now we're gonna compensate for that with a little bit of pulling. So what Nick's gonna do, he's gonna do max rep pull-ups. So he's gonna do as many pull-ups as he can with the 10K belt on. Then he's gonna drop down, take the belt off, get straight back up and do as many reps as he can, body weight pull-up. Now we're going to do a, a five minute FLR, forward leaning rest on the rings. I set the clock at five minutes. Every time I come down, I stop the clock. Every time I go back up again, I start the clock. But I have to get to five minutes in total. It's a lot harder than it sounds. Coming on to these uh, at the end was, was hard work as well. Previously I'd done about 90 second hold before I had to let go and have a little rest. So I've just finished doing what was probably one of the toughest mass sessions we've done so far. I think the hardest bit was obviously the bench press, everything else was kind of, you know, as well within my comfort zone. So as I said, two weeks left now on the mass gain, then we're going to start cutting down to trigger the fat loss goal that we're looking for. It will be refreshing for Nick to have that change of stimulus and also the reduction in calories, you know, not so many, uh, not so many carbohydrates, etc. Um, will refresh him uh, and get him through 
the last phase of the programme. Click the left thumbnail to see another men's fitness writer go through an amazing body transformation. Or click the right thumbnail for a workout that you can do from home.